The court documents released today show investigators are relying on a single unfired bullet to connect Richard Allen to the crime scene. Police say that bullet was found between the bodies of Abby and Libby. Chief Investigator Steve Brown spoke with a former investigator about this evidence. And Steve, what did you learn today? Well, Bob, if you've watched enough CSI or enough crime TV, you're probably aware that a bullet fired out of a gun spins through the chamber, picks up unique marks that police look for. Well, investigators linked Allen to this double murder investigation with a similar examination of an unfired round. The probable cause affidavit for Richard Allen says the Indiana State Police Laboratory determined the unspent round has been cycled through Richard Allen's Sig Sauer P226. This is what the handgun looks like. Retired IMPD Detective Sergeant Greg Arkins tells us when a round or shell casing is ejected from a firearm that leaves distinct marks, even if it isn't fired. Whenever a, a person unloads a you know, a a gun that's loaded with a round in the chamber, then when you pull back on the slide, the extractor grabs a hold and the extractor is made of hard metal where the uh, shell casing is made of slightly softer metal. So it leaves very unique microscopic uh, striations on the uh, shell casing. The term striation, those are marks, scratches? Correct. It's a, it's a sometimes microscopic, but it's, you know, the mark that an extractor will make. How reliable is this information, that ejection information from a gun? I'm not a firearms examiner, but from my experience, I found it's like 98, 99%. And it's a lot of experience, 42 years. Arkin says he used marks left by guns on shell casings as important information for leads in an investigation. And again, he found this method used in the Richard Allen case to be very reliable. Steve Brown, CBS4.